in the high summer of 1863, in the middle of the United States, a child was born who was to have a remarkable effect on the world of his time. His name, Henry Ford. From the background of a country farm, he became one of the most important men in the world of communication and contributed more than almost anybody to putting the world on wheels. He designed and built what has been considered the most popular car ever produced, with a success that was due to simplicity, reliability, and drive it, and almost anyone could afford it. It was called the Model T. To pay tribute to Henry Ford at the time of the centenary of his birth, a group of British enthusiasts got together and organized a birthday rally for the Model T. Although belonging to an earlier age of motoring, no less than 80 of these vehicles gathered together from all over the British Isles at London's Battersea Park for the run to Brighton. They came in all shapes and sizes, all models and vintages. In addition to cars, there were 20 commercial vehicles, including a 1923 fire engine, a hackney carriage, and a 1921 van that is still in active service. Centenary turned out to be a rainy, overcast day, but that didn't deter the enthusiasts. Open cars, closed cars, Model T owners never did worry about the rain. signal from the mayor of Battersea and they were off. Not quite the same as the grid of a modern racetrack or the power-packed atmosphere of an international rally, but a lot of excitement, a lot of atmosphere when these drivers set out to take part in a nostalgic flashback into motoring history. when Henry Ford introduced the first Model T. It was built by production methods that soon revolutionized many manufacturing industries and gave us the basis of modern mass production techniques. When production ended, well over 15 million Model Ts had been sold, making this day the most popular car ever produced. checkpoint and a welcome coffee break for the drivers. Just about halfway now and time for refreshment on a typically cold English summer day. Not all rest and relaxation there were running adjustments to be made. Final and very personal touches to the cars carried out by owners who really loved their machines and were determined to do everything to ensure a safe arrival at Brighton. Although simplicity was always the keynote with the Model T, it's only your true vintage man who really understands these historic cars. After 20 years of production of the Model T, only the bodywork was changed with the passing years. The last car produced was essentially the same as the first. A four-cylinder engine developing 20 horsepower with a 100-inch wheelbase. This unit was adapted to special needs, 
as we see here with this 1921 fire engine. drivers who finished at Brighton were given an engraved silver tank. But for most of them, the sheer pleasure of the rally was enough. The rest of the program included a concours d'élégance and a raffle for a new console Cortina. Henry Ford would have been proud to have seen this day, with the total of 80 entrants all finishing the course. Concours d'Elegance, it is attention to detail and that final polishing that makes all the difference. The Model T, by nature of the period from which it stems, is a highly suitable car for this sort of treatment. The judges were as keen as the competitors. They searched for any flaw or speck of dirt on these beautifully turned out cars. Not only had the brasswork and nickel to gleam like a guardsman's equipment, but the engines, axles, wheels, interiors, everything was under the closest scrutiny. And the dogs came too. Some nervous, some happy, some tired, some noisy, some very competitive, and one who had seen it all before. And, of course, the clothes. No rally of this nature would be complete without an accent on fashion, particularly hats. While judges worked out points, the crowd enjoyed a short interlude from the clouds. Then the last item of the day, the awarding of prizes. All the entrants had to drive their Model T's home, some of them a good many miles. They took with them a host of memories of a day among friends and prizes galore. One excited entrant won a brand new Ford Cortina in the lottery draw. A fitting way to celebrate the centenary of Henry Ford and his motor car, which had such an impact on the world of motoring.